Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today and today we're just going to do an after four week review um, of this GTEC ARAM K9, I think it's the AR30. Um, so this one is the, well I would say the current version that like you'd be buying if you went to buy this one in the shops. Um, just going to um, also do a bit of a, a pickup test with difference, What's something that nobody really ever shows with these um so we're just going to do one of them as well um so this one is what's known as the pet version the pet version does come with two filters which is very good because if you use this one quite a lot um obviously in the uk um drying filters in the winter months is um a lot harder quite often um very lucky outside the day it is actually nice and um sunny out there so it's a better day for drying um clothing outside and you don't want to be sticking your dirty filters um on on your clothes or and things like that so uh this one we've um had this one for four weeks and um overall carl's um, been using it a fair bit on what i call school carpet and on hard floors um so it's been used um i'd say a larger equivalent to a large house I'd say um, but we've had a couple of issues um, the first issue was that after the first day of, of him using it properly the little link pickers on the bottom and um, mysteriously one of them peeled off so I am um, I actually went to G Tech and asked them if we could have some replacement lint pickers now the lint pickers are on there for a reason because they actually protect the um your surfaces really so if you've got carpets it's not really um yeah essential but if you've got hard floors and you've got expensive hard floors i have not got expensive hard floors but if you spent a lot of money on your hard floors and you had nice rugs and stuff like that then this possibly could scrape and damage um your thresholds and stuff so these were actually on there for a reason so i basically got a replacement um lint picker pack which is that in there and i actually super glued the thing onto the actual machine to so hopefully see if it would stay on and after a couple of days it's actually peeled off again i'm going to show you now on the bottom of the machine where it's come off now this one it's got the metal base to it, opposed to the plastic one. Um, so it's right there. And what it is, to me, it's the tape that they used um, at the factory. So it's actually, so you've got like a double-sided tape. And what's happened is, the double-sided tape's actually come off the actual um, lint picker. So um, that gripe there is one of the main gripes for the thing, because you wouldn't expect it after like four weeks of the thing literally falling apart um as well i think as well yeah this is slopping up as well um compare the older one the older one is actually built a lot better um they've actually um sort of made it so it, it packages down smaller you can take the handle off here but um i mean but overall it's not a bad machine really for what it is um but you know, is this, I know GTEC, before they come out with these air rams, they were quite hot on years ago, bringing out carpet sweepers. And to me, this is still technically a carpet sweeper, isn't it, mate? And we're just going to show you how I think it is a, a carpet sweeper still in Respa Shrek. I mean, um, when you look at, say, I'm not going to pick on any brands, your stick vacs, for instance, they are a lot more versatile. This one, you still need to have something to clean the edges of your of your um, house with it. So you still need to have two vacuums minimum to actually use the GTEC system. Um, if you've got a stick vac, normally that would generally do um, two jobs. This is like a one a one to one machine, while the stick vac um, has got a two a two to one machine. Um, quite handy to have 
This one would no be wouldn't be any good for cleaning your car out to be honest with you. Well, they do, do a stick back. They do a stick back, don't they? They do the the G Tech Moti, which is the one, and they quite often sell them as a pair. But I mean, if you compare them with, I don't know, say a Vax Dyson Shark Stick Vax, they are not nowhere near as um, performance wise and nowhere near the, the Stick Vax. Um, but I would say as well, the battery out of all the vacuums we've ever had, um, cordless ones, this one, they seem to hold their charge. Um, the Henry's, if you've got a cordless Henry, if you don't use the battery for a little while, they discharge completely. And I don't know where the power goes. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put some dirt on the carpet and we're actually going to do a, a test with and without the brush bar just to see actually how much suction the actual machine has so it's hard to see what we put down there we put generally some porridge oats that's like what you um if you went to um curries that's the sort of stuff they use on um, various machines in there uh, we put some um, pasta shells in it and we broke them up pretty small so they're not very heavy um so this this stuff here has also got some uh, fine powder that's why they like to use um, power jumps because you've got the the bigger particles and you've also got the white powdery particles we've also put a little sprinkle of um, rice as well and I've done exactly the same so one's going to be with the brush bar on and one's going to be without a brush bar on just to just show you the difference with it so um, the filters are fairly good I've just brushed them out so they do a test with a brand new machine with a brand new filter you know nine times out of ten they're going to work brilliant so we've actually um done like a month's clean with this thing just to see um the difference with it and, it, and we've just brushed the thing out so what we'll do now is start this one up and we'll push it across go in So as you can see, with the brush bar on, it will sound more powerful with more with four bars. Yeah, it's on three. I mean, so this one has got like um, what do they call that? The airlock feature, and basically, was it as it pushes over, the dust opens up the channel, and then it seals it back up. So obviously, no, when you go back. I mean, that's the force power, so when you go backwards, it's supposed to be digging to the carpet. Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, it's done a fairly good job. I mean, remember, this is um, this one doesn't actually have a lot of air watts, um, to be honest with you. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take the brush bar out, because I'm just going to show you, really, like, is this thing a carpet sweeper? So as you can see... We've removed the brush bar. Um, just going to just show you how this machine works, really. Um, so we've got, so this machine is just using suction only to remove the dirt. Okay. So as you can see, it hasn't sucked anything up at all. Um, it possibly would suck some of the very, very fine dust indeed, possibly. But as you can see, all it's done is it's just moved the dirt around and not done anything at all. So this, this machine here is designed around the brush roll. Um, so this thing here is effectively doing most of the work. That's how GTEC um, get the 60 minute runtime um, out of the machine, don't they? Is it up to 60 minutes? 45 to 60 minutes, I think. That's how GTEC have done that. So they've just improved the system. Um, but as you can see, this technically to me, and I'm not being funny, is more of a carpet sweeper than anything, to be honest with you. Wouldn't you say that? Yeah. So it's a very expensive carpet sweeper. Now this one, um, never paid full price for this. If I had 
to pay the £250 full price for the K9. Um, I would probably be very disappointed with it, to be honest with you, because there are lots of machines you can get for the same sort of money. Um, but, oh, but it's a... Same job, Alright, yeah. So as you can see, it's just, you know, it is technically a very high-end um, carpet sweeper at the end of the day. But it does do a good job. As you can see, it did a good job with the brush roll in it. The brush, the bristles on it are they've like got a new technique. Assumed. They've got they're like a medium compounds. The bristles they're not hard and they're not soft. Um, Dyson have got fairly soft bristles on theirs, and to protect the hard floors. While well, GTEC has gone for these um, more of a medium um, bristle on them, which is like a good all rounder. So yeah, so I would for two also like to add as well. This is quite a a fine. It's not a very thick. Um, rug really um and we found like when it's not fully charged you can hear it slowing down can't you so i don't know what's going on with that but it must be it seems to be like the airlock on it is affecting the um the actual uh, use on on the normal carpet and obviously this bit here being plastic i think would possibly wear away because it's got almost like a rubber um flap on here I don't know if this will ever break off. I think these are... Um, so I think as well, if you add something like a plush carpet, I can't see it even doing even functioning on it because it's like... Um, they're a lot more thicker and they, they do do a lot more um, wear on your actual machine. If you've got a cordless on a plush carpet, you'll find the battery will go a lot, quick, a lot quicker because it's got... They use more power to actually um, rotate the brush bar. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to clean this up with the uh, with the brush bar on, with the brush bar off, as it should be, as it was, as the way it was designed. Go on then. So the vacuum is fairly light. Um, I would say it's about just a little bit lighter than, say, a cordless machine. Uh, the advantage of this over the like a, a stick vac is the storability with the thing, because you can just push the handle down and it's done. And if you really want to put it away, you can take it apart. You can take the handle off and put it away in your little cupboard out the way if you you know you occasionally use it. Um, so what it for what it is, it's not a bad machine really. Um, like I say, I just personally think it's an um, an expensive carpet sweeper at the end of the day, isn't it? Because as we just tested there, without that brush bar in there, it's got no suction already at all. Um, there is actually a fan that spins round on it. Um, I've actually used a Hoover Junior without a brush bar on it. You know, you're talking about like the fifties, and it's and it will and it will pick up near enough all the stuff on the ground, won't it? without their brush bar on it. So there's not a lot of suction on it, but it is it is down to the actual individual, really. Um, some people don't like stick vacs because of the, the way they store them. They've got to be stored on the wall. 
This one just stands in the corner out of the way or you can put it in your cupboard. You could hook it up because it's quite quite light as well. Um, you've got the two handles on it for the stairs. Um, there is also a attachment for the stairs as well that goes on the end, um, which makes it, but you still got to take the handle off, you know? So it's like, you know, we've, take the handle off, put the other thing back in, take the handle back off. So it's like a double-edged sword with it. So it's not bad. Um, I don't think really, like you say, if I was going to get one, I would recommend anybody, if anybody wants a GTEC Air Ram, is to wait for them to go on sale. And like you say, if you can get one for 150 quid, the K9 version, then that I would say that was that would be the best time to buy it. But I won't go out and pay the 290 or 250 pound for one of these. Um, it's not worth it. But um, you know, customer service is very good. Um, they this is a, actually a very different machine um, when you compare the, the competition. And like you say, some people love the GTEx, and it, I, I suppose this machine is like Marmite. But unfortunately, you know, in on my house, personally, we've got a lot of Dyson cordises, and in, in this one, I think. It's probably got the same cleaning um, quality as maybe a DC35, which was their first stick vac. So that's how far this one is away from, say, the V10 or the V11s. But they are a lot more expensive. And it is down to your personal choice because it's your money at the end of the day. And it is also to do with how your, ho your house is lay uh, laid out. And if you've got time to clean it, you know. Very good for getting out. I mean, I quite often get a, a, a cordless out just to uh, get some of the dirt off the floor when it's a bit dirty in here. But I do also like to use mains power machines. So, um, yeah, so I'll give this one, I'd say, a two and a half out of five, I'd say. You know, it's not the worst thing we've ever used, but it's not the best, you know. Um, like I say, it is a machine primarily just for, for your floors only. Um, so you still need to buy another one. So if you add on the price of a multi, you're then getting into the um, the cordless. You could probably get a Dyson cordless for a similar sort of money, or 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 a Shark, um, or even a, a high end Vax really. So it is, you say, two and a half out of five for us personally. Um, this wasn't sponsored. Um, we weren't giving it because the problem with sponsored ones is. If you if you're into getting doing sponsored stuff, you're obviously going to say it's good. You ain't going to get a sponsored thing and say it's the worst machine I've ever used because they won't give you another one to, to review. So yeah, so it's a you know. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Vacuum Man Eight. Um, next week we will have back to our usual videos. Um, we just really want to show it to, today. Really, just showing you that the uh, the fix we did it's not worked. There's obviously an issue. We're going to glue this one directly onto the machine so we got on with that so yeah so what you say now mate bye and thanks for watching see you again on another vacuum man 8 video